Hello, my name is Jeff Feige. I am a senior pre-sales engineer with iGel Technology. I've had a lot of people ask me how to upgrade from UMS 4 to UMS 5. In this short video, I will show you how to accomplish that task. It's a straightforward process. I uh, will be doing an upgrade on a standard UMS installation with the embedded database. The first thing that we'll want to do is go on over to edocs.igel.com and uh, take a look at the Universal Management Suite manual for UMS 5. Under the installation section, there is an updating a UMS installation piece. Um, there are some good general rules of thumb here, so um, good idea to create a backup of the database before updating. I think that's kind of a no-brainer, but uh, needs to be said. If you are using an older version of the iGel Remote Manager and still using SAPDB instead of the embedded database, it's a good time to uh, to do that upgrade prior to updating the UMS to version 5. If you do update to version 5, uh, please note that if you don't make a backup of the database, you will not be able to roll back to UMS 4. Uh, generally, this is a rule of thumb for all upgrade versions as we tend to update the UMS schema with newer versions. So the only way to roll back would be to uh, roll back uh, or install an older version and restore a backup from that earlier version. It's a good idea to do this on a test system and not on a production system. I think that um, doesn't necessarily need to be said either, but it needs to be said. So um, yeah, if you have consoles installed, to access the UMS from other devices aside from the server itself. You will need to up the, update those after this upgrade as well. And the big change is that uh, from UMS 501.100 on, the um, custom file source snapshots that you were able to create in the UMS administrator console for different shares are no longer available. We've removed that functionality all all uh, served up items need to be served up from the UMS file transfer folder from version 5 forward. Where to get the UMS? Go to myigel.biz, uh, click on iGel Universal Management Suite, click on Windows, in our case anyway, and uh, grab the latest one down here, 501.100. So on to the upgrade process. Um, this is my management server running 4.09.120. I've created a backup folder on the desktop here to create, to place our backups or our backup. Um, we'll want to go to Universal Management Suite Administrator Console. And in the Administrator Console, you'll see here this snapshots file source. If you have anything in here, um, these are things you will need to migrate into the uh, UMS file transfer folder. So this this path right here, uh, you will need to migrate these items and update the profiles that point to these web resources. Not a really super big deal. I used to use them all the time, as you see I have here, but uh, it is something that you will need to be aware of. So the first thing we'll want to do is go to File Export Server Configuration and we'll go to my backup folder and we'll call this UMS4 server configuration export alright and then we'll go to backups and choose our backup folder here which uh, I think we're ready to, yeah we're ready there on my desktop backup folder and let's click on create so we'll call this one 2015 11 19 UMS 4 click on OK and it'll take a couple minutes to uh, to create the backup the dialog box will disappear and you'll have an entry in this uh, in this list here and there we go so we are now ready to perform our in place upgrade of the UMS server so if you'll notice I have both versions here on my desktop it's not necessarily a bad idea to have the version that you're currently running as an installer in case something were to go wrong you could uninstall the new version install the old one and restore that backup and server config and be back up and running in no time so we'll go here and uh, run our installation as administrator this is kind of a next fest so uh, click on next accept the agreement click on next click on next 
we uh, have a standard UMS with console and embedded database. Next, 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 install. And this just takes a couple minutes. So this installation process puts the new software on the UMS server. After this, when you run the console for the first time, it'll take a couple minutes to log in as it updates the database schema. Um, but uh, overall, the whole process is very quick and painless. All right, so the software is done being installed. Now we can go over and uh, run our UMS console. So go to the UMS Universal Management Suite, fire up the new console. All right, there's our login dialog. And like I said, at this point, it may take uh, a minute or two for it to finish updating the database schema. So we'll click on connect and we'll, uh, we'll wait for a minute here. I'm gonna go ahead and pause recording and uh, start it back up again as soon as it's done. And there is the uh, new console telling us that uh, it received the new certificate from the UMS server. So this is good. We'll accept it. And by the way, uh, so uh, we're back. I unpaused. It was a little bit over two minutes. So nothing ridiculous. There is our new fancy IGEL Universal Management Suite 5 um, console. And we'll go in here and take a look at the Universal Management Suite Administrator console. And you can see our file source snapshot section is gone, but uh, everything looks good. We can take another database back up here. So we have this one as well, just in case. And there we have it. So we now have an updated UMS 5 with support for the uh, universal unified management agent and the uh, the uh, IGEL management interface API, all the cool stuff that comes with it. Um, I hope it was helpful for you. And um, again, my name is Jeff Feige, and uh, I'm with IGEL Technology, and I hope uh, you have a great day. Thank you.